And then I remember uh, you was um, mentioning a, a touchy subject about like your mother's situation. That's something you want to talk about? Free my Bible, first of all. And I got a smile to keep me from like real like getting emotional from this shit because the situation all along is fucked up on both ends because I lost my mama and a, a nigga I called my pops, you feel me? Over a simple mistake, you feel me? So if y'all can avoid drama in y'all relationship, no matter how long y'all was dealing with each other, I tell y'all to avoid that shit, especially if y'all if it's if the situation is already toxic, you feel me? Because in a split second, somebody can lose their life. In a split second, both of y'all can lose y'all life. You feel me? On some bullshit and not even mean to. But not she in a situation. I might not ever see my mama again. You feel me? It's a possibility. The only way I'm going to talk to my mama is through the phone. You feel me? And that, that fucked my head up. Yeah, you so like, me? uh... <clears throat> I mean, before we talk, I have, um... I have read the, uh... New, uh the uh, M Live article, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Like, in the story they told, like, just like I, I figured that you probably you know got way more insight than you know the news would have, seeing that it was like some of those people that was close to you and shit. You know what I mean? So like, do you see know how that shit transpired or did it happen like M Live explained? Hmm. <sighs> I mean, personally. M Live make up a story. That's M Live. M Live will tell you what they want you to know. It's always three sides to a story. He is hers and the truth. And me personally, I don't ain't gonna I don't know what. I don't know what happened. I wish I could have stopped it. I pray to God it's like it's like if I could have stopped that shit from happening, bro, like nigga, I swear to God, if I can give my life and sacrifice my life. Sacrifice everything I got from this shop to me from being an artist, nigga. Sacrifice everything for that day not to ever happen again <laughs> or stop her. That shit wouldn't have went down. Have you talked to her since she been locked up? Since January thirty first, I talked to my mama every day. Not she ain't missed a day phone call. Not missed a meal in that bitch. I'm gonna make sure she's straight and I'm a rider. Yeah, so she. I mean, obviously you cleared up that earlier about you know, giving people advice on toxic situations, relationships and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's say like, let's just talk about motherfucking females, cause you got kids too, don't you? Yeah. Like, do they, uh, you got any drama with like not seeing the kids and shit like that? No, not, not no more. So how, how did you do that when you was going through that shit? And then, like, bro, looking back on that shit right now, knowing what you see. You see the bathroom, man? <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Listen, bro. <laughs> oh, bro, this shit's so funny now, bro. But the shit I understand, I don't know how people do it. But I'm, I did it. And I can laugh at situations. But all I can say is this I apologize. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I apologize because, bro. For niggas that's getting women pregnant and disappearing, like far as not, not not trying to like not be in a relationship with them, or y'all getting into it and then y'all not together and then through the whole pregnancy a nigga ain't around, that fuck with them mentally. Yeah. You feel me? And and I understand now. You feel me? Yeah, that you is something me? you learn and afterwards, a, though. And I'm a real nigga to say this, bro. I know I hurt him. You feel me? I know I did, and it wasn't intentionally. It's it's a it's a, it's a physical, mental thing with us men because some of us really ain't prepared for what's and next. And that shit is scary, bro. Like it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an unbelievable feeling. You be like, oh shit, I'm excited, but then you but be like, he's like, I ain't ready for this shit. Am I ready? You questioning yourself? You feel me? Like, like, can I do this shit? Am I gonna be with her? Why did I like? You right, get to question right. yourself. Like, can I see myself with her? You should have thought about that way before you nutted in a nigga. It's bro. over. Like this is all it. It and then no you got some women that 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 that, that be like, okay, uh, that's that that go on right, and then they'll be get pregnant and be like, okay, I don't want an abortion, but you insist on getting one, and now you definitely fucked up. Cause a lot of women don't believe in abortion. abortion. Right. Not saying that I believe in them, you feel me? Yeah. But I always gave an option because I don't want to. I don't want to feel like you're obligated to ever push out some. That you don't want from me, or or feel like you're obligated to deal with me. You feel me? Ain't nobody obligated to deal with me. 
You feel me? Not even like on down to my mama and my daddy. They not obligated to deal with me. I don't give a fuck if they my daddy or mama or not. Who bro? What the fuck? <laughs> At a certain age, you start thinking like everything is for you that you gotta do and you gotta move around yourself. Like, at mom got locked up, that was the first time. I'm 26, bro. And every, like, I just turned 26 March. Mom got locked up January 31st, so she didn't see my 26th birthday. So 25 years, bro, I was, and this, uh, some real shit, I was under my mama. I ain't have to ask for shit, I was spoiled as hell. You feel me? So now it's like, I have to really, I have to really get on point and, and, and man up real, real quick. But yeah, so it's like, <laughs> but no, so you like, so after that, like, after that situation happened, it kind of made me like become a man fast. I would thought, I would have thought like having kids would have made me man up fast, but it wasn't even that. It was my mama leaving me.